Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit and incorporate B-roll footage into your projects and videos. So a cutaway to B-roll is probably one of the most foundational video editing techniques, I think, in telling a story. B-roll footage is basically just any footage that is not part of the main shot. So it might be additional close-ups of products or locations and scenery and clips that you would place in between or over top of your main shots while it's playing to help tell the story a little bit better. So on my timeline, I have a couple clips and I'm gonna show you some options and examples for how you can cut away to B-roll. So I've got my main shot of me doing a little tripod review here and this is what you'd consider the main shot. It's me talking with the product in my hand and talking about it. But while I'm talking, I'm going to wanna to incorporate certain close-ups and things that I'm talking about to help the viewer understand better. So here in the project media bin, you see I also have some B-roll footage that I've taken. Some close-up shots, some shots of the packaging and of the tripod in action. And it's really simple to incorporate these into our timeline. So method one is you could just take these additional clips and just drag them right over top of your original clip. So if you understand how the tracks work, basically anything that's on top first is going to show through. So although this clip underneath is actually playing at this moment, while you're hearing the audio from the original clip, you're gonna be seeing this B-roll footage. So that's my first look at the Manfrotto Pixie Smart Mini Tripod. Definitely worth it in my opinion. So that can help when you wanna still be talking over top of a clip while showing the close-up. And the second way that you can do this is by clicking and dragging your B-roll on. Of course, you know, these clips are longer than I needed. I took several angles and different approaches but basically cut away the section that you want to use, so however many seconds you want to use, and also consider if you want to keep the original sound from the B-roll, maybe there's just some light birds chirping and it sounds nice, or maybe you want to delete the sound because you want to keep the original audio crisp from the main shot. And the second way that you can do this is, let's say I just got done talking about a point, I could press C on my keyboard, create a cut at this moment, and then open up some space for my B-roll footage to be inserted into and how this would play out and the flow of this would be you're talking, talking, talking about a point, then you take a second, you're showing the point maybe to some background music or text, and then you're back and you never skipped a beat on what you were talking about. Mini tripod with the phone attachment as well. That's not to say one of these approaches is better than the other, they each have their place perhaps for an establishing scene or some establishing shots or cinematic sequence cutaways. You wanna do it like this where you're not talking over them or maybe you wanna mix in some areas where you are talking and showing examples at the same time. Really, you want both of these in your arsenal. I'd consider this a very essential core foundational thing about video editing is knowing how to cut away to different clips. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You guys can reach me on social media at Justin Odi Show, like Instagram, I'm real active on there. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.